What if humans could breathe underwater? What if someone had the power to control the oceans and communicate with marine life? Aquaman, the King of Atlantis, is one of the most powerful members of the Justice League, and his abilities are truly unique. But how realistic are they? In today's video, we're going to dive deep into the science behind Aquaman's powers and explore whether any of his incredible abilities could exist in the real world. From breathing underwater to communicating with animals, we'll see how close we are to making these oceanic superpowers a reality. Aquaman, whose real name is Arthur Carey, is a real human half-Atlantean ruler of the seas. Born to a human father and an Atlantean mother, Arthur grew up torn between two worlds, the surface world and the deep. His Atlantean heritage grants him incredible powers, including the ability to breathe underwater, swim at incredible speeds, and communicate telepathically with marine life. As the King of Atlantis, he commands the oceans and is one of the Justice League's mightiest heroes. But could any of these superpowers actually exist in real life? Could a human being ever develop the abilities that Aquaman possesses? Let's start by exploring the most essential of his traits, underwater breathing. Breathing underwater is one of Aquaman's most iconic abilities. As an Atlantean, he can stay submerged indefinitely, moving through the oceans without needing to surface for air. But for humans, this is impossible. Our lungs are built to extract oxygen from the air, not from water. So how could we achieve underwater breathing like Aquaman? One possibility lies in liquid breathing technology. This experimental process involves a liquid rich in oxygen that could be used to fill the lungs, allowing someone to extract oxygen while submerged. The idea is still in the early stages of research, but it has been explored in medical and military applications for deep sea diving. Another option is using rebreathers that recycle the air we breathe and extract oxygen from the surrounding environment. But even with these devices, we would still be limited by how long the technology could sustain us. Unlike Aquaman, would be dependent on the external environment. Some scientists have also explored the idea of engineering humans with gills, similar to fish. But this is far from being a reality. Gills allow fish to extract dissolved oxygen from water. But the surface area required for human-sized gills would be enormous, while Aquaman's underwater breathing remains fictional for now. Ongoing research in oxygen extraction could one day give humans the ability to explore the ocean for longer periods without resurfacing. Aquaman's super speed and strength in the water are other sets of his extraordinary powers. In the comics, he can swim faster than submarines and his Atlantean muscles allow him to withstand the crushing pressure of the deep ocean. But how would a human fare in such an environment? First, let's talk about water pressure. Water pressure is nearly 800 times denser than air, which means moving quickly through it requires much more energy. Aquaman's speed would demand an incredible amount of power and energy that human muscles simply can't generate. However, certain animals like dolphins and swordfish have developed to swim at impressive speeds due to their streamlined bodies and efficient muscle structures. Could humans one day match this? In real life, the fastest human swimmer is Caesar Cilio, who holds the world record for the 100-meter freestyle at around 46.91 seconds. That's just over 2 meters per second. Compare that to Aquaman, who is depicted to swim at speeds of 5,000 meters per second, around 11.18 miles per hour, faster than a nuclear submarine, which travels at around 34.5 miles per hour. For a human to swim at Aquaman's speed, they would have to overcome enormous water resistance and generate energy levels similar to those of jet engines. The sheer amount of force required would likely tear human muscles apart without a reinforced body like Aquaman's. If Aquaman could swim that fast, what about his jumps and movement on land? In real life, an Olympic swimmer can push off a pool wall and leap forward with considerable force. Aquaman's ability to propel himself out of water would be like launching from a high-speed underwater jet. With the power to swim at over 5,000 meters per second, his jumps out of the water would be superhuman, allowing him to clear massive distances in a single bound. 
similar to the lips of the Halcyon land. Then, there's the issue of pressure. The deeper you go in the ocean, the deeper the pressure becomes. At extreme depths, the pressure can crush most submarines, let alone a human body. Yet some creatures like sperm whale dive to depths of over 1,000 meters to hunt for food. These animals have special adaptations that allow them to store oxygen and withstand the crushing forces of the deep. For a human to achieve this, we'd likely need exosuits that could reinforce our bodies to help us move through the water more efficiently. Technologies like the military's deep sea diving suits are already making strides in this area. Though, they are still bulky and slow compared to Aquaman's effortless speed. The deepest the human has ever dived without mechanical assistance is 332.35 meters, achieved by Ahmed Gab in 2014. At that depth, the pressure is roughly 33 times that of the surface. Divers require specialized training and equipment to handle the immense pressure. And even then, their time at such depths is limited to avoid fatal conditions like decompression sickness. By comparison, Aquaman can dive to the deepest parts of the ocean, including the Marina Trench, which is nearly 11,000 meters deep. At that depth, the pressure is over 1,000 times that at sea level, enough to crush most submarines. Aquaman's body would need to be incredibly dense, with bones and muscles far stronger than those of a normal human to withstand such forces without external protection. Next up, we have communication with marine life. One of Aquaman's most unique powers is his ability to communicate with marine life. Whether it's summoning schools of fish or commanding sea creatures, his telepathic connection with the ocean is essential in his role as King of Atlantis. But could a human ever develop this kind of ability? While telepathy with animals remains firmly in the realm of science fiction, there are real-world examples of animal communication that scientists are studying. Dolphins, for example, use clicks, whistles, and body language to communicate with one another. Researchers have been working on decoding these sounds to better understand how dolphins talk to each other. There are also ongoing studies into interspecies communications, where humans attempt to communicate with animals like whales or even birds. While we're far from understanding the complexities of these languages, advances in neural technology, such as brain-computer interfaces, could one day allow us to better interpret and respond to the signals animals send. Imagine a device that could translate whale songs or dolphin clicks into something humans could understand. While direct control over animals like Aquaman may not be possible, we're getting closer to unlocking deeper communication with marine life. Then controlling water. Aquaman's ability to control water and summon tidal waves is one of his most impressive powers. In the comics, he is able to manipulate the ocean itself, bending water to his will. But could this ever be possible in the real world? To understand this, we need to look at how we currently control water. In real life, we use hydroelectric dams and underwater drones to harness and manipulate water currents for energy and engineering purposes. But this technology is nowhere near the scale of what Aquaman can do. Water manipulation on a large scale, like summoning a tidal wave, would require massive amounts of energy and an understanding of fluid dynamics far beyond our current capabilities. However, we are making progress. Scientists study ocean currents to predict natural movements of water, and there's ongoing research into using AI and robotics to better control water flow in industries like agriculture and power generation. While Aquaman's hydrokinesis remains a superpower, future advancements like hydrodynamic engineering might give us the ability to manage and influence water on a smaller, more controlled scale. Could we one day build machines that manipulate water as effortlessly as Aquaman does? Maybe not soon, but the dream of mastering the ocean is something scientists continue to explore. So what does the future hold for humans and the ocean? While we may never develop powers like Aquaman, science is moving towards a future where humans can explore and live in the oceans like never before. The idea of underwater cities is becoming more feasible with architects and engineers already designing habitats that could allow humans to live beneath the surface. These habitats would use advanced technology to provide oxygen, regulate pressure, or even grow food. Additionally, 
deep sea exploration is expanding rapidly. New underwater drones, submarines and exploration suits are pushing the limits of where humans can go in the ocean. And there you have it, an exploration of if Aquaman was real. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a comment and let us know what is the most fascinating thing about the mythos of Aquaman. And also leave a like for the video, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, stay enthusiastic.